Hello and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. Um, today's video, we're just going to continue to work on finishing this piece and continue to work on the uh, Pink Christmas Folio. I'm really hoping to get this done. And again, like I said in the last video, I actually have to get my Christmas swap journal finished as well. Um, the other episode, the first half of where we worked on this is actually loading right now um, or trying to saved to my external hard drive and then I again I have to take my laptop in the house so that the signal's strong enough to upload to YouTube. Hopefully it won't take forever. So I made a big mistake when I was gluing this in the last video and you guys were probably like you know better why are you using a glue stick on shiny book page? <laughs> I forgot I just wasn't thinking. So do not use a glue stick on shiny book page it's not going to hold. Okay, so what I've got to do here is, um, I can't believe I did that because I completely know better. Completely know better. But, but in my defense, <laughs> I haven't been crafting in a couple weeks and I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to re-glue this with Art Glitter Glue and that should do the trick for us with no problem. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, anyway. I can definitely tell you guys what not to do. Even if you don't learn what to do, you can learn what not to do from me. Um, oh my goodness. So um, I think at the end of the last video, I was telling you I had to go get a grocery order for my daughter-in-law. So I got that picked up and put away. Uh, Mark and I went and had some pizza for lunch at this place. It's kind of like um, a Subway, but for pizzas. It's called... Um, mod pizza anyway it was pretty good i went a little crazy with my toppings of course mark did his traditional pepperoni mushroom pineapple but i was not traditional in mine i had pepperoni ham bacon oh he had bacon on his too anyway pepperoni ham and bacon which is not anything new i did asiago cheese and mozzarella i did artichoke hearts i did um roasted red peppers and I did onions that thing with the onions is they didn't they were cut too big so they didn't um I'm just trying to burnish this they were cut too big so they didn't cook as well as I would have liked them to but it was pretty good so actually I sent a picture to my daughter-in-law and I was like I had to try this because we were talking about it the other day that 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 place you know it's kind of like fast food pizza place, I guess. But anyway, so I said, she goes, oh, that looks good. And I said, well, do you want the other half of mine for lunch tomorrow? So she's going to take that for lunch tomorrow. Um, we, did I tell you guys in the last video? I don't know if I did. Mark and I are watching the grandkids tomorrow. So my granddaughter and I will probably end up crafting a little bit in the morning, but I don't know what we're going to do. So I kind of need to get a plan. Um, I'm going to go outside here. The sun's kind of peeping through some clouds. It's warming up now. So I'll go outside and and, and do what I have to do outside that I cannot do in here. Here in just a bit. Oh, I know why I picked that up. I wanted some of this paper. Um, oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to look for Christmas napkins. If I put any out there, I don't think... I didn't bring them in the RV with me. They are outside underneath. I did get this pack at the store the other day and they're so cute, but they're not, they're too red for this. So that's what I was gonna do. That's all right. We'll do napkins on another piece. How does that sound? So I don't have to go outside right now to, to dig them out. And I don't really remember what I brought. I don't think I had any that would go with this, but I'll look. I'll look for the next video or another page or something to see what I do have. So what I want to do then is embellish this. Sorry, I don't mean to be scattered. I actually felt a lot better after I did the glitter and stuff and the liquid pearls on that. I just felt better. Um, sometimes, sometimes a girl just needs to get some sparkles going to make her feel better and more crafty. So I'm thinking what, Oh, here, I know what I was gonna do. Okay, for this back piece here, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I hope 
that's not too far. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Um, and of course, this is going to get uploaded before I even see feedback from you on the last video where I asked for help. So I want to make that like a little tab, I think. And I think we need just a little something to hang off or some dimension on that and I think on this I'm going to ink it with the Victorian velvet if I can remember oh it's right there oh my gosh I couldn't see it it was literally sitting on the other side of this okay so I'm, I'm, we need to do something background wise on this music paper um don't know that that pink is dark enough. Oh, you know what I need? What did I do with that? I think I threw it away. I was going to have a little container or tray or whatever, and it would have been really perfect to set my ink daubers in because my Altoid tin is in there, and it's perfect, but it's full of stuff. So that's not going to work. Okay. I kind of made that almost purple because I did the pink over the blue or whatever blue over the pink okay so we need just something Ooh, now this isn't very thick and this would just be like a little bit of something poked out of there or I could just put that on there and we could do a tab and open that or the way I did that, I designed that to be a pocket. So, 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 what shall we do with this? I'm thinking I just, this is like just super sparkly and pretty. I don't know what it is to be honest. But that's not, that's not what I'm wanting. Okay, that's not gonna work. That is not making me happy here. And that's what we need. Things that make us happy. I could almost. Oh, well, that could just slide in the pocket. I think I don't have the right size punch for that. Now, why do they do this? That makes me have to fussy cut that. So let me fussy cut that. Oh, right there. Okay. So I added a little bit of gold to my flowers and I'm going to glue this down and this is going to go here and then we're going to get something to go in that pocket. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the shadows here for you guys and I'm just not really able to figure out which light is causing it. So I think it's this one. But if I showed you how the lights were in the RV, you and I really can't do anything about it. So. I will have to figure out something different for filming. So I will. I mean, it's like I said already and a million times, it's a learning curve. Look what has happened to my pen. I do not know what I've done to this thing. I need to fix it. <laughs> I need to fix it. It needs a new pen too. I've bent the pen to death. Okay, so this, did I say I did this? I don't know, cause Mark came in. So I don't remember where I was, but I put some gold stickles just in the flowers there and got this pocket glued down. I have a little bit of ribbon here. I think this is seam binding. This was in a Sheila packet. Um, and I think that'll be cute. I don't really want to iron that straight, but we'll see if I can manage to deal with it being like that. And then I just have glued her. This is out of the Christmas kit from Taylor Made Journal. So if you do like the digitals I'm working with, I do encourage you to go over to her shop and check this out. Um, she did have a sale going and I think I missed it. And I'm like, oh, cause there was some other digitals that I wanted. So hopefully I'll, I'll have to see if I, uh, I missed it or not. I really don't know with the traveling and everything and all the, everything we've been doing and then hanging out with the grandkids and oh my gosh, my grandson is so funny you guys. The other night, not last night, he was better about it last night. The night before last, um, I was told him I was going to bed. I mean, grandma's going to bed. Grandpa already went to bed. He had a little meltdown because he didn't understand that we were still here. <laughs> and then yesterday, because he's only four, and yesterday morning, um, 
Amanda, my daughter-in-law says, did you see, you know, grandson before you left or before he left for school? And I said, no, why? I guess he was like all in a dither because he didn't, he thought we were gone. He didn't understand that we were just in the RV outside sleeping. So hopefully tomorrow, um, with watching them, it will be, it'll help him understand. But see, like I said in the last video, we're going down to court site on Monday to get solar panels put on the RV. So I'm hoping that he can handle it and understand like, we'll be back. We're not leaving, leaving. So my daughter-in-law is like, I am like just totally not mentally prepared for when you guys actually do leave. Cause I tell you what, that boy loves his grandpa, which is just the sweetest. I mean, it is so sweet. I love it. I love how much he loves grandpa. I'm gonna let this dry because I do, well, She's awfully far to this side. And now I'm thinking, should I have done another one of them? But they're all kind of on the same side. So what I was thinking was like putting a ruffle or something here. But I do want this kind of flat. So let me see if I can, you guys can kind of get a feel for my table here. I have a mess. So I've got the remote for the TV. Cannot believe I'm listening to soap operas. I don't watch soap operas. I really don't. And I'm cracking up because I had not watched soaps in like, I don't even know how long. I mean, with working and everything, and I never recorded them, I'm dying because some of the same characters are still on some of the same soap operas from back when I was a teenager watching soap operas, like after school. Even younger than that, because in high school I didn't watch them. I didn't have time. So it would have been like junior high when I was watching soap operas after school. <laughs> Some of the same characters are on there. I'm like, um, you guys are like ancient now. I can't believe it. Oh, anyway, I just think it's funny. And it's the same drama. It's just a different era of drama than it was back when. So I think it's kind of comical. I just want to knock some of this brightness of this paper pad paperback. I do like this pink gingham. I think it's super cute. All right, I'm just going to go across it like that. Oops. And then that, I think that's going to be good. I'll let that dry. And then I can come back and determine. Oh, she's cute kind of peeked out there. Maybe I won't put something on her. I think she's sweet. So we have our journaling card from the Stamperia kit. We have this little piece from the Taylor Made Journal kit that I embellished. Another piece of the Stamperia paper. I just made a tag to fit in that pocket. Um, and it, I mean, it just fits in there. It's snug. And then our journaling card. And this is just embellished. It's not a tuck or anything. So that way, this can slide in a belly band. So since we're going to do that, maybe we should pick a page and put a belly band on it. Okay, so I saw you guys I was going to tell you some of the things that we've done. So... We left Ohio on Wednesday the 9th, and um, we went over to Indiana and spent three days in Indiana. We were only going to spend two nights, but we were dodging snowstorms, which I think I told you guys. We were like dodging two snowstorms and <clears throat> trying to time it. So the one in Indiana we extended because we didn't want to be driving in the snow. So like we were going to leave on Friday, excuse me, we were going to leave Saturday morning, but we ended up going ahead and staying until Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to move my chair. I'm sitting down is just killing my back. Um, oh, where did that my piece go? Um, oh, I have that in there. That, I don't want to put that in. Um, so anyway, sorry. So Sunday morning, we left Indiana. So Saturday, I was able to drive um, a, by, I told you guys, my not mom that lives in Indiana. We drove, we each drove, she drove about an hour and a half. It took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get to a restaurant and visit. But we were there for like three hours visiting. Fortunately, the restaurant wasn't busy. So it didn't matter that we were taking up space. Um, um could go there anyway and so we did that and then we made our way over to where did we go from there Missouri 
and we finally got to see Merrimack Caverns. It was literally our third time trying to see them. And um, that was really cool. And then we went to Oklahoma. We stayed a day in Oklahoma and like spent a day doing laundry and went to the grocery and all the non-fun stuff, you know, adult stuff we have to do. And then um, we stopped in New Mexico. We stayed in Amarillo. We stopped in New Mexico. <coughs> Excuse me. It's allergies, which I will tell you. Anyway, and then um, we... What did we do? Oh, when we got to Arizona, we went to the Petrified National Forest, which was phenomenal. It was so cool. I have not posted pictures yet. So those of you who are on my Facebook, um, I haven't posted pictures yet of the uh, Petrified Forest. I need to sit in the house and do it um, and just look through the pictures because, I mean, I can't even tell you how many pictures I took. It's insane. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Okay, we'll do it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm talking and I'm like trying to find a place where I want to put a belly band. I kind of had pre-planned some of these pieces, but, um, obviously not very well. So what I think I'm going to do is actually make a pocket for this to go in. Then I can put like a whale tab on here and we could slide that into a pocket maybe. No, the intent was to put it on a belly band. Oh, now that could be kind of cute. And then it could slide it in there. I have to fix that. Clearly, I didn't get glue all the way to the edge of that. Ooh, or Santa. No, too much music on music. Oh, she's cute. Okay, I'll figure it out. Anyway, so but anyway, the Petrified National Forest, if you haven't didn't done that and you ever got an opportunity, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It's like super great. Super, super great to see um my allergies oh my gosh so I'm very allergic to dirt and I'm allergic to dogs and my the kids have three dogs that are amazing and super sweet and I keep loving on them and I'm paying for it <clears throat> super paying for it I know better but the dogs are so sweet I can't not play with them so <laughs> I have ramped up my allergy medication trying to feel better so I'm sniffling and making noises but truly I'm it's just allergies so, okay. What is he doing? Are you on the roof? Mark's on the roof. Sorry if that was loud, guys. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I want to make this the belly band. This is a piece of the scrapbook paper. And I need to find either a wider piece of scrapbook paper or a piece of lace to put on here to make this big enough for this to slide in and hold it. So this piece of paper is not going to be enough. So let me see what I have. So what I'm thinking is, we have really bad shadows. Oh, let's try that. Mm, okay. What I'm thinking is I'm going to take this piece here and glue it on this really pretty piece of shiny silver and make us a belly band out of that. And then that scrap piece of that we can use as a pocket or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking, possibly. Mm, I do kind of like it on there, though. And that would stabilize that piece. Okay, so let me cut this. I think I'm going to cut this at... Where's my ruler? Hmm. Okay, so this is an inch and a quarter. So what I'm thinking is if I go about three and a quarter that's going to give me like an inch overlap on each side of this with the silver and I think that's going to be really pretty so let's do that let's go three and a quarter hopefully things will settle down and I won't be so scattered um, when I'm I know I said that last time didn't I when I was still at home I was like oh my gosh I'm so scattered but I promise it's getting better and um, I was texting with my friend earlier, and Mark was like, why are you trying to film when you need to finish that Christmas present? And I'm like, well, because I've got to get some content posted. And he's like, well, he had, a, he had quite an opinion about it. And so did my friend. She actually agreed with him, and I'm like, that's unusual. And um, 
but it's okay. I just have a lot on my plate right now and just trying to get things so that way when, you know, it's time to leave on Monday, there's content and it's not stressing me out because you guys are like, uh, did you fall off the face of the earth? And again, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, still relevant for you guys or if you're over it. I don't know. I guess you'll answer that in the previous video because I do believe that's something that I mentioned in that video. And, um, yeah, I just want to have you know, content for you and, and, and feel like I'm adding value for you. I need my black silk. You guys should see my mess right now. It's gotten worse since I panned around earlier and showed you. Like, I really don't even know what I did with the bin that has my stencils and my black ink in it. I found it. It's over here on the kitchen counter, and I'm going to try to pan slowly. So I have my laptop over there with episode 11 uploading. I've got my rigid boxes in the floor here. <laughs> I've got the Christmas pro project in that box I've got to finish. There's my other rigid box. And you can see that I'm like super scattered with my stuff. So please give me some grace when I'm like, where did I set that? Or what did I do with it? Oh, and I have ink on the floor too. So I truly am trying to work in a very small space and it's a learning curve for me. And I'm trying to figure out how to work in the most efficient way. So that way I'm not so scattered for you. Yeah, so I'm not so scattered for you, but I do have a folding table with me. And I think what I'm going to do is figure out um, if I can film outside or if the wind is actually too much of an issue. But my daughter-in-law so sweet last night. I was like, because I did try to film yesterday. The beginning of 11 was me trying to film yesterday. But there was just too much going on. And she goes, you know, we she expects us to treat her home like our home. And... She, you know, it's a, it's a very, it's a beautiful house and it's very nice size. And so she's like, you know, you can come in here and there's all this space to work and countertops. And I'm like, yeah, but it would be so much for me to carry in. So I'm trying to make it work. I really am. And it's going to be fine. It's just an adjustment and it's just a learning curve. And you guys have always been so sweet and gracious with me that I know that it's going to be just fine. Now I'm wondering if I need to put some like lace behind that or something to break that up. And now that I have cut that silver piece, do I want that rose piece in there or, oh, you know what would be pretty is like the ice skates on there. Hmm, it's not a big enough piece though. Oh, the bird would be a pretty piece on there. What's that? Ding, somebody's texting me. Hmm. I have to figure out what I want to put on there. Okay. Think, woman, think. Maybe I'll set that aside. I have this Santa here too. And I think what I'm going to do with him is like fold this and have it like a flip out. And I could make that a pocket because I don't want to cut this piece. So let me make a decision here. Okay, so I glued it down. I went with it. I decided to go with it and not fuss with it. I have to stop fussing or I'm never going to get this journal done. Okay, do I have a hold of it? I don't. So, but I like the, the variation in colors. I like the vintage with the bling and the flowers and then the vintage again on top. I think it kind of ties the whole page together and ties it together with this. So, oh, I've got to fix that, don't I? Okay, I'll fix that. Um, anyway, so that's just going to slide in there, and I think that's going to be a really nice piece on that page. I am going to go outside now because the sun has... Ooh, ooh, how about let's not glue our papers together. I'm going to have to trim that a little, just a little. Um, Uh-oh, why am I... Okay. <laughs> I kind of put stuff in here and paper clipped it. I think I had done that before I ever left home. Um, but anyway, it's messing with me right now. All right, so I've done that. So on this side, what I want to do is definitely stabilize this edge because um, I don't want, that's kind of a fragile piece of vintage music paper and we don't want it to tear as we're flipping through the journal. So that will be our next thing that we work on is putting probably like, ooh, you know what? Oh, we could put, I've got an angel here though. 
I was thinking we could put Santa here, but I, I'm not gonna do that. What I think I might do is, where are those pieces? I don't know who did it, but I thought it was a really, really cute idea. I don't know what I've done with the six by six pieces. Here's one. Oh, here they are. There's a couple of them. Just for an example, I mean, this isn't going to be big enough. So I could do a belly band here. And like the six by six is obviously too big for our page. But I saw somebody just like fold these in half and use them as t and tuck them in the pockets and stuff. So that'll be something that we do as well. So I'll figure out what I want to use here and make a side tuck. And then um, that'll be in either I'll do it tonight or later or whatever. But that's going to be the end of this video. Um, the other one's getting uploaded. So as soon as it's finished, I'll publish it. And then I'll get this one set for, uh, I'll probably set this one for Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you have a lot of things to be grateful and thankful for. Sorry about the shaking. Mark is going in and out of the RV right now. And it just can't be helped. So, um... Yeah, I hope you have a lot to be thankful for. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for the life that allows me to create content for you. And I'm just so grateful for positive comments and feedback. And let me know what you're doing. What are your holiday traditions? Um, we are not doing our tradition this year. We are having dinner at our son and daughter-in-law's house. And it's going to be an adventure. So I think it'll be fun. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.